everything important happens when we're awake. Hey, you. Put on some muscle? I did? No. If you've seen films like Call Me By Your Name, Lady Bird, or Dune, then odds are you've fallen head over heels for actor Timothy Chalamet. This actor, who's only in his early 20s, has already risen to the top of Hollywood's ranks and is fast on his way to becoming this generation's Leonardo DiCaprio. Timothy was born and raised in an apartment complex situated in Hell's Kitchen, New York City, under the watchful eye of his mother, a former Broadway dancer, and his father, a former correspondent for the French daily newspaper known as Le Parisien. At a young age, Timothy was accepted into a special institution known as Fiorello H. LaGuardia High School of Music and Art and Performing Arts that developed his creative talent amongst other famous celebrity kids, including pop superstar Madonna's daughter Lourdes, who, rumor has it, actually dated Timothy for a short period of time. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. After graduating from high school in 2013, Timothy would attend Columbia University for one year and was a resident of Hartley Hall while a student on campus. Unfortunately, he found it difficult to return to school after his career took off following his appearance in Christopher Nolan's Interstellar. Rather than continue with his studies, Timothy departed Columbia and left his parents' home as well, renting an apartment for himself in an area of the Bronx known as Concourse, where he set about focusing on his film career. Not a whole lot of info is out there about Timothy's apartment, but it's believed he's rented the property for a handful of years now, and rumors suggest that it's a two-bedroom unit with one bathroom and a little under 1,000 square feet of space. The closest we've come to getting an inside look at the place are the occasional glimpses Timothy has posted to Instagram. For instance, he once shared this look at his home entertainment setup. The image shows off his apartment's wooden floors, white furnishings, and a minimalist interior that could probably use a bit of touch-ups, like hiding all of those wires. Then there's this peek into what appears to be his no doubt tiny living room, which nonetheless offers a gorgeous white wooden bookshelf highlighted by some warm built-in lighting. Last but not least, Timothy also provided us with a taste of his bedroom, which boasts a carpet over wooden floors, as well as a series of bedside tables painted in a trendy shade of dark gray. Admittedly, not a bunch to go on, but at least Timothy is more forthcoming when it comes to some of his favorite haunts to check out when he's back home in the Big Apple. During an interview with Frank Ocean, the young star would tell the wildly popular R&B singer about three places everyone should visit when visiting New York City. This started with his favorite coffee shop named Mud. He also recommended tourists check out the home of his favorite carb overload, Tompkins Square Bagels. And on your way out of town, be sure to check out the sights at his favorite neighborhood in the entire city, East Village. Of course, with all the time he's been spending shooting bigger and bigger films in Hollywood, Timothy figured it was time to finally lay down some roots of his own. And he did so by securing himself an amazing estate in Beverly Hills with a long line of former celebrity tenants. After having led a bi-coastal lifestyle for so long, Timothy Chalamet became a proud California landowner when he paid $11 million for the secluded home of former supermodel Kate Upton and her husband, Houston Astros star Justin Verlander in October 2022. His new 1.5 acre estate sits right next door to an even larger estate owned by Fast and the Furious star and the man who single-handedly keeps the undershirt industry in business, Vin Diesel. And that's not all. Other famous residents that Timothy can now call neighbor include John Mayer, Cameron Diaz, and Eva Longoria, all of whom own property within walking distance of his new place. First built in the 1970s and centered deep in the mountains above Beverly Hills, this East Coast traditional style home has a lengthy celebrity pedigree. It was first owned in the 90s by Grammy award-winning saxophonist Kenny G, who eventually sold the property to tennis star Pete Sampras. More recently, the estate was lived in by big-time Hollywood producer John Peters before Kate and Justin moved in next. After six years of ownership, Upton and her husband put this property for sale earlier in the year. And while the final sale price was less than the $11.7 million ask, it's still more than double the $5.3 million these two originally paid for it. 
According to reports, the superstar couple gave the property a minor renovation during their ownership, fully overhauling the kitchen, but leaving the rest of the home largely untouched, save for some new paint and ceiling treatments. Largely invisible from the street, hidden behind gigantic gates, high walls, and a very long driveway, this hillside home is said to offer around 5,500 square feet of space. Inside, you'll discover white and bright spaces with a multitude of big windows, French doors, and various galleries, including a living room with massive stone fireplace, located nearby a very formal dining room with an extra pair of French doors along the back wall that lead outdoors. A short walk from there is the eating kitchen, which boasts a breakfast nook with bench-style seating for intimate family get-togethers. White oak floors lead from there into the charming and inviting family room, which offers a white vaulted ceiling with plenty of exposed beams. Elsewhere on the property is a spacious games room, which doubles as a media center, and there's also a walk-in, climate-controlled wine storage room. Upstairs, there are four bedrooms, including two en-suites, as well as two smaller family suites, and an extra, separate guest bedroom that's good for any live-in staff that Timothy might decide to hire in the near future. As for his master ensuite upstairs, it boasts a stunning ceiling with a candlelit chandelier, and its bathroom is drenched in calming neutral shades, while featuring a spa-style plunge tub, as well as dual vanity sinks. Then there's the outdoors where Timothy is going to get the opportunity to enjoy the sunshine in ways he probably never could in New York by diving into his brand new pool. The pool also attaches to a raised spa on a stunning brick terrace. Also located on the grounds are rose gardens, a grassy lawn, manicured hedges, and a full-size tennis court that's a holdover from when Sampras used to practice at home each and every day. Now that he's got this gorgeous new place, the question becomes, where will Timothy Chalamet spend the majority of his time? Near his family in New York or in the comfort of his brand new digs? Considering he's already tried returning home just to see how it would be after being nominated for an Academy Award and came away feeling pretty unimpressed, my money is on LA. At least for the next few months or so. After all, let's be honest, sooner rather than later, it's gonna be getting cold up here in the Northeast again. But down South in California, Timothy is gonna be able to enjoy beautiful weather all year long while breaking in his stunning new home. All right, guys, that's gonna bring this latest house tour to a close. But before you head out, take a moment to ask yourself this one question. If you were a young actor, would you rather live in a neighborhood surrounded by superstars more famous than yourself or somewhere where you'd be the biggest celebrity on the block? Let me know your reasons why in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.